Let's take a look at some math today. Specifically, we're going to look at Christian Light Education Mathematics 1. I create this video in hopes that if you're searching for a math curriculum for your child, this gives you a great idea of what this curriculum is, what it's about, that will allow you to make the best decision for your family. Hi, I'm Jamie and this is Simply Learning Together. I am a homeschool mom of four and I love talking about homeschool. I also love sharing curriculum and I've loved connecting here with you. I want to share Christian Light Education Math and I want to make sure to be careful not to review this program, but I just want you to be able to see what it is. We have used it for a little bit, but I don't think it would be fair to give you a full review. So I want to just show you what's inside and maybe give you a few tips and tricks that we've started it. And then when we are finished using it, I will be sure to come back and give a more thorough review on how it works. If you're not familiar with Christian Light, make sure, I'll leave a link, make sure and go to their website so you can learn more about who they are, what they believe in, and what the products that they have. I will link there about us here. Um, I think that's important. As a homeschool parent, you want to make sure you know what's coming into your house. Also, be sure and check that out and do your research for that. When you purchase the mathematics from Christian Light, it comes in these things called light units. These light units are separated into little workbooks. The mathematics one is separated into their 101 through 105. And so then once you finish that, you have to purchase a separate teacher's guide for their 106 through 110, I believe it is. They have many supplemental products that you can purchase with their curriculum. We did not purchase any of the extra products until we got into it and I realized I really wanted something. So I'm gonna share with you what that is. The program comes with a flashcard routine. It wants your child to practice flashcards on a daily basis. I attempted to do this with just flashcards we already had at home, but I ran into a problem that the flashcards we have, we didn't actually have some of the problems that they wanted. So for example, they want there to be a flashcard for two plus one and one plus two. And I think that's really important once you see how the program works. Since we didn't have that and I really could see the consistency of how it all worked together, I went ahead and spent the money and got the flashcards. So these are, um, there's tons in there, in here, and I can even use them for other kids in my family. So I thought it was a good purchase. My plan is to show you this booklet 101, and I'm just gonna kind of flip through the pages and let you know a few things that um, about it as we work through it. And then I'm actually gonna just skip to 105 because one of the things I like to do when I'm looking at curriculum is I wanna see how the lessons progress. And I have 101 through 105 right now, and that puts you kind of halfway through the year, your homeschool year, so you can kind of see how the lessons progress from book to book. Then we'll jump into the teacher guide. You can see there are 20 lessons in this book and it does include speed drills and a place value chart. These are the addition facts that you'll be working on with your flashcards. One of the things I love about this book is how it is, doesn't move too quick. I also love that it introduced one number per lesson and each number came with a really cute rhyme to help you remember. So for example, this is down the trunk and around the tree, add a branch, it's five you see. And even now we are still using those and I've started using them with my younger kids as well. The lessons are very consistent. It contains a practice at the top some new facts to practice. There are story problems, which I've enjoyed. Then there is some review work. This is a spiral program. And then at the end of each lesson is a section called, I can do this. And here's an example here. And that is for your child to do on their own. Through the lessons, there are also some just for fun sections. And I usually give my daughter a choice if she wants to do that or not. Once we got to the tins, we started using the base tin blocks, which was great. I Once again, the consistency and the pace at which it moved was really helpful for us. We used the chart here, but we also used a separate chart as well. 
I can link the one that we used for you here, but the book does come with one. You'll notice there's also some money practice as well. This is the last lesson. And what you can't see here, here's some speed drills as well. What you can't see is in the booklet comes a test. Let me show you an example. The test is usually in the middle of the book. And so before you start the unit, you'll wanna tear it out and give the test at the end, okay? Now, before we look into the teacher's guide, I mentioned I wanted to jump to lesson 105 so you can just kind of see how it progresses. So this will be new to me as well. So a couple things that you saw in here, you did see the chart, and then there are some quizzes in the back that are put in there. I do want to mention that uh, just a couple of things while we're here looking at the book. One of the things I love about this is I don't feel like it's an overload of problems. So for example, here they're reviewing something they've already done in the past, and it's just three quick problems to review. Um, if you go to another section, here's uh, some money review, it's just one problem. And I really like that. It doesn't ever feel like it's too much, but you're still reviewing at the same time. I will mention that you could not do this without a teacher guide. Even though the math is simple, you could not do it because there are sections where you have listening exercises. So you'll see this ear here. And the teacher's book is necessary, so you know what to put there. Now, obviously, you could make that up, but... Um, that is something that it, uh, is very helpful, the teacher's guide. The teacher's guide comes with an introduction, and I know sometimes it's hard as moms. We don't want to sit here and read all this, but it really is helpful in understanding how the curriculum is set up. It also helps you understand all these little symbols that are throughout the lesson book. Let's go ahead and take a look at a lesson so you can kind of see how it works. Um, it's going to tell you the new skills coming up, how you can prepare, and then all this bold print is what is your kind of like your script. And then it also will tell you when it's a new concept. And I'm just giving you a second to kind of look at this. Another thing that the lesson guide in here is right next to the um, right next to the lesson. There is scripture throughout this, and it's put there. So just so that you know that that's there. And once again, reading the about us section in their on their website is helpful. 
All right, so I'm gonna start flipping. One of the things I noticed when I worked through this is there are some things in the teacher guide that are not in the lesson. So for example, you might have a lesson with um, you know, some adding and subtracting, but you'll notice in the teacher guide that there's a little section about money and you're just supposed to be working and reviewing with them. So having the teacher guide is really important. For example, here's lesson eight. This is the meet with student sections, count one to 30, left and right, large or small, long and short. None of that is actually in the lesson. So you have to decide if that's something that you would like to review or not. Let's take a look at the back of the teacher guide so you can kind of see some of the other things that it comes with. And then it does have alternate tests in the back as well. This is the place value chart. We started with one that just had tens and ones so that we had the hundreds kind of out of the way and that was helpful. I, that's the one I'm gonna link for you below. So hopefully that was helpful seeing inside those books and kind of getting an idea. You can always pause if you wanna read something thoroughly, but I just love being able to flip through so, so many pages when I'm looking at something and I kind of hope to do that for you. I do want to show you a little bit of these flashcards so you can see they're really nice. Um, they have the number nice and big, and then on the back is the answer, like, looks like this. Now, there is a coding system where it talks about, you know, when you're supposed to do this, and there's a way that you can organize it. They have all these cards that say grade one, new facts. Um, and then what you practice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you can set it up really nice. Um, it even has grade two. So it looks like these flashcards can be used for both grade one and grade two. As you can see, I don't really use these. <laughs> I'm sure if I did, it would be more organized, but I haven't taken a minute to do that. So there is a system to this. It would be helpful if you like that kind of organization. They even have charts breaking down the entire system. So if that's something you enjoy looking at, that's there for you as well. This is their addition and subtraction flashcard set, which comes with some tips on the side as well. And like I said, I feel like it was worth the money. Um, it's been very easy to incorporate into the program. If you have any questions about this curriculum, Feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I really just hope that this gives you a really good idea of what it is so that if you are thinking about purchasing it for your home, that now you kind of really know what it's about. You know, I think it's always important to have a little reminder that there is no perfect curriculum. No matter what you get, you're going to have to adjust it to your family, adjust it for your teaching style, but also your child's learning style. So keep that in mind as you're searching throughout your curriculum and as you're taking a look here at Christian Light. I know that's something that always helps me as I'm searching for what we plan to use next.